My name is uh, Snake Bernard, and I uh, worked at Edge Software for over 10 plus years. Uh, when I first came here, they were still doing Quake 3 Team Arena. That's what we are doing back then. Then we worked on uh, Doom 3. Then we worked on uh, Doom 3 Expansion. Then we worked on uh, Darkness for a while. We worked on Rage. You don't know how lucky you are that the Authority hasn't found you yet. But you aren't going to last long in a firefight against the Authority with that standard defibrillator in your chest. I've done characters, I've done lighting, I've done uh, textures, I've done map objects, I've done level design, I've done gameplay, I've done scripting. When we do level design, we have a choice. We can either do level design inside our level editor program, or we can do it entirely in Modo. Most engines, the way it works, is you go ahead and create one little entity, and you have to keep tiling that entity. Like it's either a tiling texture or it's a pillar, and you just build your whole level out of a few entities. And it looks fake because you can see where different tiling textures line up and there's a seam between them. We don't have those problems. Basically, we were allowed to have infinite geometry. You don't have to instance anything. Same thing for textures. You don't have to instance any textures. So every single pixel and every single polygon in our levels is 100% unique. So we build, you know, as many as we want. One, two, three, whatever. We go ahead and pull those out. And then to cover our seams between our meshes, uh, we go ahead and we just pull up these stamps in our mega texture system, which are the protected 3D textures and you can just cover up the seam entirely and people can't even tell, that's great. Makes it look really organic and natural. The lighting isn't dynamic. What that means normally is that the more lighting you machine you have, the slower the engine gets. And so you start having really fake scenes because you've only got a couple of lights. Whereas we don't have that, everything's baked in our world and everything is unique. And so A, we've got radiosity that's free to us. B, we've got shadows that are crisp to the pixel. Uh, we've got soft shadows. We've got infinite lights. I I have one map that has like three something thousand lights in it. It's, it's insane. Like Doom would have exploded after like five. <laughs> I mean, it's just totally different. So I love the fact that everything's unique and I can just do whatever I want. Why are we switching to Moto? Why do we use it for our level design, our modeling, and all that kind of stuff? Uh, well, I mean, the best way to answer that is just because it's the fastest way to model I found. I mean, that's really the best way to describe it. I use it for a ton of like diffuse faking, and aim it. Do oh, I use it like crazy for aim and occlusion, where you got a model and you want shadows and nooks and crannies, otherwise it just feels low poly and fake. Another thing I do in Moto is I go ahead and have this quick little script that does uh, atlas projections onto your model, but just has, doesn't have a hard seam in between each atlas projection. And so uh, it's a really quick way to just throw, throw on a texture that looks correct on your whatever kind of distorted UVs you could possibly have. I have actually used the vector displacement sculpting. I used that for some crazy lava models. And what was crazy about it is that you can push verts, not just up, but you can push them in different directions. I ran that tool that's in Moto that converts that mesh, it tries to relax it, and then it tries to figure out where the, the vertices were moved from and then to, and it could then give you a, a vector displacement. When I first switched to Moto, there were some plugins that I was just missing. People that might know Bevel Little, for example. There was no Bevel Little plugin or script for Moto, so I was like, oh, my friend can make scripts, you know? I'm like all excited, so I'm thinking about trying to con him into making more scripts. I only worked like once. He did like one thing for me, and after that he was like, no, you do it. I think I could do it, you know, I'm not a scripter, I'm not a coder at all. Uh, but he just sent me the script and said to change that one line. I changed that one line and once I saw that you changed that one line and something happens, I was addicted. I've got a billion custom forums, I got a, so for all the custom GUIs I could think of, I got 800 hotkeys, I've got tons of custom layouts just for me. If you add up all the tools Moto has and then throw in like the modifiers on top, it's just exponential. And so for most of the tools you can ever think of, it's already there. And that's what we love about it.